in this next section we'll be looking at unfolding our profile with the new parametric spreadsheet functionality which we can see here docked in the bottom of our AutoCAD interface. Previously in Copra this was in a separate window and information would need to be manually transferred. We now have direct and real-time possibilities. In other words, when we type in new angles, new station numbers, they are automatically and immediately added to the spreadsheet. So, first of all, we're now going to be looking at arc entities. So we hit this icon here and we can now switch off the straight entities the lengths and concentrate purely on our angles. So now we switch to the flare module. So this can be done by using the CAD Finder browser here and which you'll see now the tab here in the ribbon has switched to the flower tab. So first of all we choose a cell and then we can right click here to insert a pass. You'll now see we have two forming stations. They are identical. We can now add some unfolding data to our station here. Hit the spacebar and then we can type in, let's say, minus 5 degrees. We can do the same here in Entity 17. Again, hit the spacebar, type in minus 5 degrees, and we have an incremental unfold amount. By incremental, I mean here we had 90 minus 5, resulting in 85. Should we, for example, wanted to unfold and give an exact value, we can hit the cell here, again hit the spacebar and type in 85 and enter and you'll see we get an equal sign to define that this cell or this profile will be 85 degrees in the next pass. So again, we can also then type in here equals 85. We can save the changes to our CSP file by hitting this button here. OK, let us now try using the new Ben sequence. Previously this was only possible by using interactive unfolding in the old Cobra interface. So, let us pick a position where to unfold. Well, first of all, this will be Entity 4 and Entity 15. By highlighting the two cells, I held down the Control key, then right-click here. We can also now create a bend sequence. We have this possibility also directly here from the menu on the bottom of the screen. So here in the entity selection by using the control key previously you will see entity 4 and 15 are now still selected. As with the previous versions, we can now select how many steps we would like to unfold these 85 degrees in. So if first of all we select 6 and initialize, you can see here we have literally taken 85 degrees and divided it by 6 equally. If we wish we can say we want to unfold by 10, 15, 15, 10, 10, 
and 10. We still have 15 degrees to unfold. So here, let us change this one to 15. And now we can add an additional station here by hitting the green cross. Type in a new angle. And then you will see we now are unfolding to zero degrees. We can save these by hitting this button here. And we can give it a name. So this is 85 degrees. Unfolded. Over. Seven stations. OK. And then you can see it's now in the Copra default library. And I can hit OK. And spreadsheet is populated with the unfold data I specified. The number of stations is increased in the browser. And also here, by dragging up, we can see our new unfold data populated in the spreadsheet. So again, it's real-time and instantaneous. If we hit save, the CSP file of this profile will be saved and updated. So now, what to unfold next? So here you can see entities 2 and 17, maybe. So now, I go to entity 2, hold down control and entity 17. Again I'm going to right click to create the bend sequence and let's unfold that by 4. Here you can see we've literally divided 85 by 4 to give us 4 equal stations of 21.25. Let us hit OK. and now we can see everything is unfolded. You can see here we have some entities which we can use the joining tool. So now let us show the straights and you can see here entities in this pass actually is the first one where we can make some joining of 3, 4 and 5 so let us look at the lengths. 3, 4 and 5. Highlighted by dragging. Again, like this. So 3, 4 and 5, we can now right click and join entities. When we get to this station, we can now right click and join those. So now you can see we have individual entities as opposed to several broken ones. So now let us switch off the straights and concentrate on the dovetail function. Now, so first of all I've decided in this station I want to unfold these two bends by 5 degrees. So here I'm going to enter this cell and type in minus 5 and you'll see now a station is created with minus 5 the result being 115 degrees. I can right click now and copy this data to this cell here and paste by right clicking again and then when we switch here you'll see the station is created. I'm just going to save the CSP file again and take a browse through my flower. So here, hit the demonstration name and you can see what and how I've unfolded the profile so far. 
I can use the new browsing functions from the Copa ribbon, the green arrows here, to advance through the flower, one station at a time. I can also go directly to the end by hitting these green arrows here. Go backwards through the design and also to the very beginning. OK. So now I would like to unfold the dovetail with one of the existing trapezoidal functions. So here I'm now going to go to the interactive unfolding menu and select automatic unfolding. I'm now going to pick the entity I want to unfold. This would be entity 2. And I can apply this bend sequence to entity 9 also. So let me pick entity 2 and entity 9 again using the control key and OK. So now I'm not just going to unfold 115 degrees over 8 stations. I'm going to use a trapezoidal bending sequence. So now go to bending sequences. I don't have any existing for this one. OK. So now I'm going to create one. So here in the trapezoidal bending sequence menu I hit create and I'm asked how many stations I would like to unfold this angle by. So let us leave it as it is and take the 6. My initial area will be 2 and my final area will be 1. I'm going to tick the box use the neutral line method and then the distance between stands would be 280. I can round my angles to 0.5. You can see here the curve of the strip edge. And we can give this a comment. 115 degree trapezoidal sequence. and now hit OK. We can ensure this one is selected, we can see our unfolding angles here, OK. Ensure our end angle is 0 and hit OK. We now move on to entities 4 and 7. So again I return to the automatic unfolding icon in the interactive unfolding menu I can pick Entity 4 and now I need to ensure that I go and change the Entity Selection. So Entity 4 and 7, again holding down the control key, hit OK and now we go to Bend Sequence. The Bend Sequence, I have one here, I'm going to create a new one and this time we can call it the 120 trapezoidal sequence which will be again unfolded over six passes the initial area is 2, the final area is 1 hit OK this is now listed hit OK again ensure the end angle is set to 0 OK. I can now execute the planned unfolding sequences for entities 2 and 4 by again returning to the interactive menu and hitting Go. This will execute the bending sequence. And now you can see the unfolding sequence. I'm going to hit Save and I'll create an archive and call it Flower 1.
we also now have the possibility to use the get and show command which is a particular favourite for some people by hitting this icon here I can now pick the profile I want to see say this one here and it will be displayed OK let us now take a look at the sequence you can see here I still have some broken elements on the right hand side so now I'll take a look at the straight entities and the lengths and decide where I can join them here we can see 12 to 14 and 10 to 12 and now two and there we have our flower I will now overwrite the archive I created by hitting archive and save and selecting flower one again I will overwrite yes and there we go the next section we will look at optimizing our flower in the DTM module